All right, so thank you guys for being back with us. You're tuned into the Dixon's channel. Welcome y'all. Um, so today, as I promised, we'll be doing a bit of cleaning of the terminals. As you can see, the terminals are a bit dusty. Um, so if you have backyards and so on that is not fully grass, or neighbors are so on, or from wherever the dust is coming from, you get quite a bit of dust like this. Now, these panels, as you can see, they're all monocrystalline. Um, Two different types but they do produce almost the same um, volts and watts um, the darker one you i'll show you as we go around um, and then this but nevertheless they're all mon monocrystalline panels um, so today we'll be starting let's start right here and give you a demonstration so how do you clean your solar panels if if it's reachable accessible um, which doesn't bring you at risk or anything like that you can go ahead and try to maintain it otherwise call a professional to do so for you so today I have my hose of course so it's connected to the pipe there and um, oh this is my garden by the way and the roof so it's connected to the pipe a good stretch of hose 100 feet and I have some well took away some of my wife um, shampoo whatever you have um, liquid uh dishwashing liquid those can use um, shampoo those can use those are the ones i'll recommend are specific agents using that uh, should be used for these panels um, i have a broom it's not so coarse it's a house broom um, so it's not coarse or rough that's what it looks like so i'm going to be using that and this thing that i bought um, so it's a wash and rinse it's produced a bit of power I'll show you. So it shoots it out. It's very powerful, make the water extremely powerful like that, as you can see. So we're just washing the terminal. The panels off. So you see getting the dust off firstly. So my recommendation, unlike how some people would wash a car, the car thing is you wash the dust off first and then you apply the soap. Then you go ahead, not necessarily scrub but to wash and wash go in one direction don't go in circles but the panels go down so with that said you're going to use the broom in that sense right let us let the broom up so that's the broom right there and we're gonna just pour some soap on the terminal like that mm -hmm. so for this apparatus right here I'm going to unscrew it and then put my um, soap in it and then I can apply the soap just so I want. So just bear with me. So that's how it works. So this soap is in it and then i'm going to screw it back in so the knob at the top right here it supplies the soap so i turn it to applying so you will see where the water applies to it then it starts coming out very soapy right so i'll do that see that right so all i'm going to be doing now just wet up that wet up everything so the sun is out the best time to do this is just before the sun gets out on you before the panels start producing massive and, and high so I hold it like this you know to get a little bit of strength and you push downwards like this and back up down and back up down up down up you understand mm -hmm. so like down here it normally catches the the dust and so on that's how you do it like that to get the dust out the end the lower part down so just one more time let me demonstrate so you go down with a little bit of force not too much up down up down up right that's how you do it mm -hmm. don't let it stay too long on it you know and we'll do the second one don't take so any time down up a little bit of force down up down up down you know and there to get out the dust out that end part that's how I do it right 
So we already gone two terminals, two panels. So I just flip the thing. So we're gonna use all water and wash it off. Mm -hmm. So we just done one panel, we're at the second panel. So as I said, try not to let the soap water dry on the panel. So try not to do the entire panel and then come back and wash it. Especially if the sun is out where it dries it up quickly on the panel. Right? So you just rinse it off properly. Get all the soap as much as you can off it. Mm -hmm. So there we go. We have two panels now clean. That's it, and you can look over there and see the difference with those, right? Mm -hmm. So you see the difference already, right? So once you finish everything, their system should be pulling a lot more watts and voltage inside. Well, depending on if you are using it inside also, but it should be able to. All right, so that's it. This is a very short video. I hope you enjoy watching this clip of how we clean the terminal or clean the panels so these panels are 250 watt panels and these were bought uh, 18 years ago still looking good all still working no damages so far make sure your railing that your panels are sitting on is properly grounded of course and we'll be doing all the others so i hope you like it and uh, all the best for now take care